side. So the Vikings and the Bears about to tip off. Near side to Ryan Castillo. A pull-up jumper. That's good. There's Cage in the corner. He's going to be guarded by Alford. Now an inside sweep. Nice play. And there's Daniels. Nice spin move off the glass and good. That is vintage Ronnie Daniels right there using his size, his strength, and his quickness. Just sheer will. One on three, and he gets the bucket. Griego, he's double teams. Going to kick it. Alford wide open. Good dish. Castillo for three. He'll hit it in the corner and a triple made. So here it is, the same play. High ball screen. Maya. An around circus shot. Beautifully done off the glass and good. This guy's out of control. It's guarded by the freshman now. A pull up three and it's cold blooded. Back outside to Trujillo. Here comes Walker. Excuse me, that's Alfred. Alfred puts it off the glass and good. And the blocking cow. The Bears. 31 to 24 of the Vikings. We'll be back. Don't go anywhere. Chris now, oh, gets it stolen away. A bad pass. Here comes Maya. Back the other way. Puts it off the glass and good this time. And he finishes his drive. He drive. Oh, he missed a wide open layup. Yeah, Chris, shot it with back right the other way. Daniels slams it home for the jam. And you can hear the fans get up for that one, Will. <laughs> kind of keeps the Valley crowd out of it right there. The student section has nothing to say on that one. Alfred thought about a three. Now goes to Daniels. Oh, good pass into Fritz with the slam. A tomahawk <laughs> spike. And LaQueva leads at 54-49. Gets it inside. Nope, tipped away. Aragon gets the steal. Back the other way, man. He's got a three on two. No look pass. A dish. And a nice put in. And Valley has just made it a 54-54 game. And we are tied. Valley's crowd really into it and deservedly so. This team playing pretty well the last four or five minutes with the transition game. Oh, you can hear the crowd. Here comes Ramos. Pull up jumper. 18 foot or nothing but the bottom of the net. May is going to be guarded by Ramos. Crossover dribble. Thought about a jumper. Nice pump fake. Puts it up and good. And Valley's grabbed the lead. Will drive. Stops his dribble. Alfred in the corner. Pull up. 18 footer and that's good. And look for the box out if he misses. Here we go. 15.3 to go. May at the line. He puts it up. And this is when trickles in. Here we go. 11 to shoot. Here's Ramos. Tie ball game. Here comes Ramos near side. Guarded by Callahan. Ramos is going to drive. He's got five to shoot. He's blocked. A struggle for it. Alfred, two to shoot. At the buzzer. No, we're going overtime. Well, they call the foul. Oh, they call the foul. It's so loud you can't hear anything. A foul is called. And Alfred's going to go to the line for a chance to win this game. But here we go, Will. It all comes down to this. Alfred could be a hero. First free throw, no good. Off the side of the iron. Valley fans love that. And here it comes down to his last free throw chance. Tie ball game. 1.4 seconds to go. If he makes this, LaQueva could win. It's up. And it's good. He hits the free throw. Martinez. Tamea, he heaves it at the buzzer. Oh, and he just missed it. And the Bears hang on, 63-62. Wow. Will, you couldn't have asked for a better, more competitive game against two elite teams here in the Class 5A of New Mexico. You know what, and I think it's a safe bet that these two teams will hook up in a one-game playoff for the District 2 5A championship in two weeks. Huge game for La Cueva. Each of them have three games left. It's a sprint to the finish line, but now they are knotted up. So that'll do it, folks. It's the Bears of La Cueva, 63 to 62, as they celebrate in the middle of the court. Nothing else to be said there. A huge district battle win. La Cueva back in it, and that'll do it. So, for Will Webster, I'm Adam Deal on Proview Networks. Good night.